Good evening, everyone. How's it going? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Edita. Hello, how's it going? Hope you are doing well. Hello, uh, Joseph. Can you listen to me clearly? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good, good evening. Good evening. Wow, fantastic. Good hey. evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Yes, I can hear you. All right, that's fantastic. So we don't have any problem. So we can start as quickly as possible, right? Hello, Cecil. How are you there? Hello, teacher. Good to see you in the class, right? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Thank hello, you. hello, Joseph. Hello, uh, Irving. Hello, Irving. Hello, teacher. Hello. Wow. Hello, Kenya. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> Happy to see you in the class. Hello, Hector. I wonder if you can listen to me. I have Wilson. Uh, Norma just got into the class. Uh, let me see. Well, let us wait a little bit so that the majority of people gather, right? In this session. Okay, now I hope that you are very energetic tonight because uh, we're going to continue practicing English, okay? That's why you are over here, right? So, because you want to improve English. Is that right? Yes? Yes, right? Yes. Now, yes. English, yes. hey, look, look at me. English. We love English, right? Uh, I guess I I mean. English. English. Can you? All right. Hey, look at look at Kenya. Kenya. Oh, <laughs> everybody mm. loves English, right? Let me see the way you do it, right? It's like something like this, right? Can you do? Hey, I, can you say I love English? I love. Yes, I love English. I love English, right? So that's the attitude, right? If you love English, so we are done. We are going to learn today. Hey, did you see the quote I shared with you in English? Evening, sir. Hello, hello. Did you see the quote I sent in in um in the WhatsApp group? Yes. Did you see it in the WhatsApp group? I share a link and also yes. I, sh I share yes. an image, right? So try to get the vocabulary. Try to see the video after the class, right? So if you cannot do it today. You can do it tomorrow, right? But the thing is that you can practice. That is the purpose. And I will switch a little bit into Spanish, meanwhile the rest of the people gather because I only have 14 people. And as far as I know, you are 30. Mientras los demás terminan de llegar, porque solo tengo 13 personas conectadas, eh, les voy a comentar. Por ahí les, les coloqué. Uh, Irving, I wonder if you have any question, Irving. Teacher, fíjese que yo tuve problemas con la tarea porque no me apareció. Solo me apareció una, pero en el grupo vi que estaban comentando acerca de otra y no me apareció. Uh, all right. Sí. ¿Saben, saben eso? Eso justamente quiero hablar con ustedes respecto al grupo. Ahí he estado viendo yo lastimosamente en el día trabajo en un lugar donde no tengo conexión a internet. Entonces, pero ahí cuando yo regresé ahora a la casa, me, me di cuenta que había muchos mensajes ahí en donde ustedes se habían estado ayudando unos con otros. La verdad que los felicito. Eso hace la diferencia eh, de las personas que son ganadoras con las personas que no lo son. Las personas que son ganadoras siempre tratan de ayudar a los demás y los felicito por eso. Eh, si no encuentran, digamos, en el caso de Irving, que no pudo encontrar este, la actividad en línea, lo puede hacer un cuadernito. Lo puede, to, puede tomar notas, alguien tomarle una fotografía de la actividad y compartirla en el grupo. Ah, de tal manera que nadie se quede sin hacer las actividades. Eh, eso por un lado. Por otro, se fijaron que ahora este, coloqué una frase, una frase, son frases que a todos nos pueden ayudar no solo para aprender un poquito de vocabulario, sino que también para ponernos a reflexionar un poco acerca de nuestra vida. ¿Ok? Aprendemos inglés y al mismo tiempo reflexionamos. Hacemos una pequeña reflexión. ¿Ok? 
Y lo sí. otro es que les compartí un, enla un enlace para que cuando terminemos la sesión ustedes puedan ir y puedan este, seguir um, reforzando lo que acá eh, les enseñamos. ¿okay? De tal manera que mientras más tiempo ustedes estén conectados con el segundo idioma, mejor. ¿okay? Excuse sí. me, teacher. Uh, I um I don't I don't know about the another WhatsApp group. And you, you, you were I not don't. included yet. Okay, don't worry, Edita. No se preocupe, Edita. Ayer ayer lo notifiqué en el grupo y yo creería que ya ya dentro de poco ya estará oficialmente con con nosotros. Pero no entiendo por qué eh, todavía no 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 aparecía, pero yo ya lo reporté. Ok, y cuando ya este, ya ellos eh, hayan solventado la situación, pues entonces ya pues no va a haber ningún problema. Ok, Edita. Thank you. All right. So, hey, let us switch to English, right? And let us try to learn something new today. Ok, the last time I told you that we were uh, going to work uh, in, in different English skills, right? You gotta be clear that in English, English, we have four macro skills, all right? So we're gonna be working on four macro skills. Vamos a estar trabajando en cuatro cosas. Listening, speaking, reading, and writing, okay? Listen, speaking, reading, and writing. Solo tenemos 60 minutos y por eso pues yo escasamente me voy a pasar al español. ¿Está bien? All right, so let us get down to business, okay? Let us start because for me it's quite important uh, to, to, to see what's going on with the question going on, what's going on with the platform, all right? And, you know, we are going to have all the time. Let me see, there is somebody. Uh, uh, Jorge says good evening to everyone. Good evening, Jorge. All right, so uh, you see, I have... Um, Yesterday we were talking about um, the days of the week, the months of the year, and also about uh, dates, specifically about your birthday, right? I think birthday are a very, very special dates. But today, you see, we're gonna go over a listening activity. And now here we're gonna face the first activity. I mean, the first assessed activity that the platform presents. Okay, we're gonna see Michelle is going to, we have four options over here, I, I hope. Uh, can you see it well? So if you are not able to see it, okay, now, now you can see it better now, right? So, but the thing is that we are going to be like um, uh, listening to the audio, all right? And you are going to recognize what's going on with these people. Let me see. We have Michelle, we have Kevin, we have Robert. And we have Jane. So we have four people. And you have to listen to the audio carefully because later we are going to face some exercises. Is that is that clear? It's clear. Excellent. So pay special attention. Okay, because I will mention some of you to help me in the class. Here we go. Oops, I have problems with the audio. Uh -huh. Let me see what's going on with this. Let me see, let me see. I think it, it's fixed. And now, pay attention, please. No, you oh, oh, oh thanks for letting me know. I'm so sorry. I will I will share it once again. Thanks. It was my fault. Yeah, that's right. I'm so sorry. I will do it once again. I forgot it. Thanks. Here we go. Now here we go. Now yes, it was my fault. Now I hope you are ready. Pay special attention, all right? 100% sure about what you are listening. Good evening. I'm Al Rick. Problem solved? Is the problem solved? Let's go again. Now, now you listen to it. All right. Now here I listen. Go. Good evening. No, you don't? You don't listen? 
I listen. Ah, no, no, yes, everybody listen. Yes, Good listen. evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? It's Michelle. I nice. bet you're going to go to the gym tonight. Michelle. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. Michelle, right? And what's your name? Kevin. Are you going home now, Kevin? Kevin. No, not right now. First, I'm going to go to the video game arcade. Oh, so you're going to play video games. Yeah, I am. Can I ask your name? Yes. My name's Robert. Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party, but I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. And the last person. And what's your name? I'm Jane. Jane. Do you have any plans for this evening? I just bought some new CDs, so I'm going to listen to music tonight. What kind of music is it? Jazz. I always listen to jazz. All right. Now, do you get uh, most of the information? Because you see, we're going to, we're going to, I mean, we're going to answer. Okay. Now, you know, Michelle, you know, Kevin, you know something about Robert. Is this Robert? Yes. Right. Robert and the other persons is Jane. Uh, Jane, right? So, and you have some questions over here. Now, Michelle, uh, what is Michelle going to do? Is she going to go to the gym, celebrate a birthday, meet a friend, or go shopping? Meet a friend. Meeting a friend. Ah, oh, she's going to meet a friend. She's going to meet a friend. All right, she's going to meet a friend. Pretty good. In the second one, we have Kevin. What is the what is Kevin's situation? What is Kevin going to do? Play, play video, video games. games. Uh, he's, he's going to play video games. All right. So if yes. you say so, we're gonna check it at the end. All right. Now number three, Robert. What is Robert going to do? Read. We're at work. home. We're at, at home. home. At home. Uh, he's gonna work, work at home. At home. He's work going to, at home. Oh, he's going to work at home. All right. He's going to work at home. What about Jean? Jean is going to go dancing, see a movie, go to a party. Listen to music. Listen, Listen to music. music. All right. That's fantastic. Now, you got most of the information, all right? But now you are going to tell me full sentences, okay? Complete sentences. Because you say, go shopping, meet a friend, play video games. Now, Yesterday we were Kevin going to Kevin is no. going to play video games. Uh no, let us start from the very beginning. Number one, Michelle. Michelle is going to meet Michelle a friend. Going to Perfect. Great pronunciation. What about Kevin? Kevin is going, Kevin. To, play going to play video games. All right, Kevin is going to play video games. Fantastic. What about Robert? Okay, listen, I couldn't listen to you clearly. Uh, let me see. It is, can you please help me? Is it is in the class? Okay, it is. Can you please read the first? I mean, the, 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 the third um, uh, Kevin situation? Okay. Kevin is going to play video games. Pretty good. I will ask somebody else. Somebody else. Jorge David, can you please help me with number three? Number three. Is Robert, Robert going to work at home? Oh, uh, Robert is going to work at home. Pretty good. What about Jose Enrique? Jane is going to? Jane is going to listen to music. Uh, what about Jos, Jos, Jose Enrique? Is Jose Enrique in the class? Hello, Jose, Joseph. Jose Enrique Orellana. He's not, he's not in the class. Well, uh, what about Jose Luis? Can you please help me with the number four? Jenny is going to listen to music. 
Fantastic. Now, uh, you see, we're gonna check it because you know today we have to advance a lot. Okay, we're gonna check it now. As you can see over here, uh, we can see the answer, right? And in the first one, what do you say? You see, correct. Number one is correct. Pretty good. Hey, so we're doing something, something great. Estamos haciendo bien el ejercicio y lo estamos pronunciando yeah. bien. Excelente. Es, esa es la actitud. Now, number two. Kevin is going to play video games. Okay, you got two points. And what about number three? Robert is going to work at home. Very good. You got three points. Jean is going to listen to music. You know what? You got a, you got your first thing in the class. Ya tienen su primer día en la clase. Fantastic. ¿Por qué saca, por qué sacan tan buenas, buen puntaje? Porque yo todo el tiempo voy a estar evaluando, aunque no hayan números por el momento, pero yo lo voy a estar evaluando. En esta actividad pronunciaron súper bien e hicieron los ejercicios muy bien. Vamos con la siguiente actividad. All right. Okay. Okay, now let's move on. Let's move on. This is number five. Okay, 1.5 in the lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn how to how to sound natural when talking about future plans by reducing going to end. You know what? Maybe uh you you have been supposed to listen to this um expression, but you haven't like uh taken the time to notice about the way it is pronounced when when speaking really fast okay and we are going to learn um uh, that today okay that's the lesson objective and we will see the, the next video now pronunciation we're gonna get focused on this part pronunciation all right are you able to see it well or let me see i will try to expand it uh, now can you see it very well Can you see the information very well? Yes. 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 All right. So now listen, this is focused on a reduction of going to. Is all right. in practice. Yeah. I mean, listen and practice. Notice the reduction of going to. Normally. Normally. Yeah, listen. Normally. Going to. Yeah, that's right. Normally we say going to, right? But American people, when American people uh, speak naturally, they tend to reduce sounds. And this expression is the first. They don't say, I mean, it is normal to say going to, right? But it is more common to say gonna, gonna. Okay, so listen to this, please listen, because later you are going to read it. In this class, you learn how to sound natural when talking about future plans by reducing be going to. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of going to. Reduction of going to. Listen carefully, please. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. When spoken, going to is usually going to sound as gonna. Let's analyze the examples one more time. Listen, listen. Carefully. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with. Now, listen carefully because I will stop for a while, okay? I just want you to notice that the transition the person uh, is uh, using is are you going to, going to, are you going to have a party? Gonna. All right. So that's the transition. The friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Going to go. Going to yes. go. We're going to go to Nick's Cafe. Going to go to Nick's Cafe. As I cafe. mentioned in a previous class in which I talked about. Now, I will ask some of you because, you know, you got to get accustomed to uh, practicing English. Catherine, you did. Please read the first. Catherine, you did. And also Catherine, Catherine Roxana, please. The first part, this part, A and B. Catherine, you did. You start. Hey, are you going to have a party? Ah, uh, let us make a pause. Vamos a hacer una pausa. Eh, listen, it's all right. La pronunciación está bien. Going to, pero vamos a aprender a decirla de manera. Eh, cuando los cuando los norteamericanos hablan, naturalmente ellos tienden a reducir sonido. Entonces estamos aprendiendo que going to 
eh, diciéndolo como de una manera más natural, es gana, gana. Are you gonna have a party? Okay, I will play once again. Listen, listen. Pronunciation is one of the most difficult to learn in English. And this is because there are many exceptions to rules that we may mention. The best way to learn pronunciation is by listening carefully and repeating. Listening carefully and Today's repeating. Today's topic is quite universal. And if you watch your favorite TV program in English, you'll hear Ghana instead. All right. So you listen to the guy saying Ghana, right? So once again, Catherine Judith and Catherine Roxana. Let us try. First part. Catherine, are you gonna to have a party? Oh, are you gonna have a party? And Catherine Roxana says, Is Catherine Roxana here? Yes. Okay, Catherine Roxana, can, could you please read the second part? Okay. No, gonna go out with a friend. Wow, that sounds good. Now, listen once again. I will start with Catherine, uh, Judith, and Catherine uh, Roxana. Listen, Catherine, Judith, please, could you please repeat after me? Are you going to have a party? Are you going to have a party? Going to, going to. Uh, and then we have Catherine Roxana, please, second part. No, I'm going I'm gonna to go out with a friend. No, I'm gonna get all with a friend. Uh, okay, pretty good. Now, you see, we are, we are improving. Estamos mejorando. Solo vamos a hacer una pausa acá. Eh, vamos, va, vamos a aprender algunas cosas, ok? Como por ejemplo. Quiero que todos pronuncien esa forma contractada del verbo be. I'm... I'm. 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 Uh, now be I'm. careful. I'm. Be careful. I'm. Be careful because I'm if you don't know. Now listen carefully because I, I want I want to teach you the best I can. Quiero enseñarles lo mejor que pueda. Cuando usted diga I'm, okay, trate que el sonido al final sea una m sound, una m, alright? Que no sea I'm. una n porque algunos eh, algunos estudiantes eh, tienden como a decir ain, ain. A, a, ¿qué? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo me escuchan a mí decir ain gana a, uh, with a friend? No se oye bien en realidad. No se habla así el inglés. Entonces, eh, presten atención a, a cómo se pronuncia cada, cada sonido de la frase. No, I'm gonna go out with a friend. No, I'm gonna go out. I'm, I'm. Todo es importante. Sabemos que acá es nuestro tema principal, sí o no. Eso es lo que estamos estudiando ahorita. Pero no debemos olvidarnos de lo que se nos ha estado enseñando en los cursos anteriores. I'm going to go, I'm going, okay. Now I'm going to go out with a friend. All right, let us move on. Let us try with the next part. Vamos a tratar con dos personas más. Veamos. Sin embargo, ya ven, poco a poco se va, este, vamos mejorando. Eh, José Oscar, eh, José Oscar en Julio César, please. Same sentences, las mismas oraciones. José Oscar, hello. Julio César, hello. Aquí estoy. Uh, ok, ok, Julio César, you, you can start. Eh, Are you going are you gonna to have a party? Oh, pretty good. I noticed something else there. Aha, uh -huh. and what about uh, Oscar? Jose Oscar, are you there? Jose Oscar, well, I wonder if you can see Jose Oscar in the in the group. If if no, well, let me see. I, I will ask some someone else. Jorge Alberto. Yeah. Help me with the second one, please. No, I'm gonna go out with a friend. Wow, that was fantastic. Pretty good. That was fantastic. Uh, that's the way it is, right? So you see, we are just getting better. Let's see the next part. Let's see. Are you gonna are you gonna go to a restaurant? 
Yes, we're gonna go to Nick's Cafe. Uh, I need two people more. Necesito dos personas más. Norma and Rebecca. Second part. Norma, you start. Norma Beatriz and Rebecca Michelle. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Are you gonna go yes. to a restaurant? Yes, we're gonna go to Nick's Cafe. Oh, all right, Rebecca, both of you did it great. So you see, now let's move on, please, because Little let's see what's going two. on with this guy. So I would like for you to do just that. Watch your favorite TV program in English and pay attention to how going to is pronounced. All right, so we're done with this part, right? So we are done. We already saw this information. I'm sorry, because I need to delete this part to erase this part. Okay, let's see. Now, uh, I have the reduction of going to. Now, we are clear, right? How do you pronounce going to when, when we reduce uh, in a reductive way or when we speak initial, initially? Ghana, right? Ghana. 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 All right, so that's fantastic. Now, something that you can do also is like, um, to record to record your voice in the WhatsApp group and start thinking about different sentences uh, in order to practice. And over here, uh, remember that you can include some examples, right? That is uh, really nice for for me to see your your work over here. Also, you can type different sentences uh, by using going to. All right, next part. We're gonna move on. This is, you know, the 1.6. We need to, we need to go over next part. Okay, we're gonna see another objective. And you know, by, by the end of this class, you will be able to talk about holidays in the US, in the United States. There are some holidays. Okay, remember that we are still talking about the days of the week, the months of the year, and also about special dates. And this information is. Quite Hi, good. Everyone. Now, in this class, now you see this guy. Let me see. Uh, do you know? Do you know some uh, holidays in, uh, from the United States? What do American people celebrate? Uh, Halloween. They celebrate Halloween. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Christmas. Christmas, right? We we also celebrate Christmas, yeah, right? The Independence. The Independence Day. Fantastic. And now, now I know and I can see that you are a little uh, bit or Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Some Thanksgiving. Days. Valentine's. Hey, Valentine's, you know about that guy with it. Clever yes. day. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So we will see that you you know. There are some special days that we have to get like some vocabulary. Some vocabulary. You are familiarized, but you are going to see something Let's else. Let's get started here. by learning. Now, that. New Year's Day. When is uh, New Year's Day? New Year's Day. Uh, Año nuevo. Año yeah. nuevo. Yeah, that's right. But when is it? What is the day? January 1st. January 1st. January 1st, January the 1st right? January the 1st. When is Valentine's Day? Uh, February 4th. Now, 14th. let me know. Let me know. February 14th. All right. 14th. Ah, 14th. Uh, uh, ah, but you're talking about Valentine's Day, right? Now, let me oh. know or let me know if you learn uh, something. Is something like very very important yesterday. I told you right that when you have specific dates, when you have specific dates, you have to include something here, right? When you have specific dates, you have to include. Let me see. On January first, yes or no? Mm -hmm. On January first. 
Yeah, so let me see. I will include uh, the sentence over here. And this is the way I want you to tell me. It's... It's... On... January... The first. Now, that's the way I want you to answer my question. Is that is that clear? Yes. yes. All right, yes, now, sir. I will ask yes. once again. When's New Year's Day? It's on, it's on January 1st. On January 1st. It's on January 1st. When's Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day. On February 14th. Fantastic, very good. When is the Independence Day? On July. It's on July. It's on July 4th. All right. Now I, I will ask individual people individually because it's all right when it, when everyone wants to participate, but Sometimes it's, it's quite difficult for me to like to make some corrections when everybody speaks. Uh, Kenya, Margarita, when is Halloween? It is on October 31st. It's on October the 31st. All right. Uh, Katie, Katie, Tatiana, when's Thanksgiving? Katie, is Katie in the class? Hello, Katie. Is Katie, Katie is, is not over here. Uh, what about Reina? Reina, uh, when when is Thanksgiving? Fourth Thursday in November. It's, it's on. It's on for Thursday in November. All right, in November, it's on fourth Tuesday, Thursday in November. That's fantastic. Very good, uh, Reina. Uh, Salvador Galdames, when's Christmas? When's Christmas? It's on Christmas. Yeah, when is yes. it? I mean, it's, it's on. It's on. December, 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 December 20, 25th, 5th, 5th, all right, yes. very, very good, very good. Now, let's see what's going on with the video, please, because uh, you, you will see more information over here. You will see more information over here. Let me see. Oh, well, now, yes. Uh, the video the holidays okay that you see on this chart holidays in the u.s new year's day january 1st valentine's day february 14th independence day 14th. july 4th halloween october 31st thanksgiving fourth thursday in november Christmas, December 25th. Now, I would like for you to use the vocabulary to talk about your plans for this coming holidays. For example, Valentine's Day, Valentine's is, Day. is going to be on February 14th. I'm going to invite my wife to a special restaurant. Write similar sentences as this one. The goal is to use the vocabulary and going to. All right. Now, I will stop it over there because, you know, um, we have a lot of info to, to see today. But as you can see, the, 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 the example the person provides is like uh, a special day, uh, Valentine's Day, is going to be on February the 14th. All right. And after that, the person includes an, uh, a plan, an activity that he uh, already planned. I'm going to invite my wife to a special restaurant. 
Now, what are we going to do? This is going to be homework. Esto va a ser tarea, ¿ok? Para aprovechar el tiempo, lo vamos a dejar como tarea. Cada uno de ustedes va a escribir cuándo va a ser cada fecha especial, así como lo ha hecho eh, la persona que está presentando. Eh, Valentine's Day is going to be on February the 14th. Lo van a escribir y luego van a escribir algo muy personal de ustedes. Por ejemplo, él escribió, I'm going to invite my wife to a, wife to a special restaurant. Voy a invitar a mi esposa a un restaurante muy especial. Entonces, ustedes van a hacer lo mismo con cada una de estas fechas. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? Lo vamos a escribir abajo en los okay. comentarios de okay. este video, teacher. Sí, lo pueden escribir okay, en los comentarios. Y si okay. ustedes tienen un cuadernito eh, asignado para esta clase, también lo pueden hacer en su cuaderno. Pueden utilizar, si ustedes lo quieren hacer en un documento Word, y guardando este, su trabajo, también lo pueden hacer. Siéntanse libres de utilizar las herramientas uh, como ustedes saben que les funciona estudiar. ¿okay? Lo importante es el aprendizaje. ¿Estamos claros con esta actividad? Yes, sir. Sí. Oh, all yes. right. All yes. right. Yes. Pretty, pretty good. Now, uh, you see, the video is almost done, right? I mean, hey, what's going on with this? The video is almost, almost done. Uh, and I hope that we take advantage of this one. Now we're going to move to the 109, uh, I mean 1.9. And I think we're going to get uh, something. Uh, let me see. Let's see cause. Okay, it's better, right? It is better. Uh, by the end of this class, you will be able to ask and answer double H questions using the going to. Additionally, you will practice a conversation with illustrate how this topic is used in real life setting. Now, uh, you see, you have the information in Spanish over here. That's why I won't read it or I want, I, I want, so, sorry, can you see the info? Can you see the info? Uh, yes, yes, yes. yes, right. So you have the, the lesson objective and also you have it in, in both languages, right? You have it in English and you have it in Spanish. Okay, so you are clear about what we are doing now. And the lesson, uh, the video that we're going to see and over here is time to practice, okay? It's also time to practice because we will see a video, right? It's a video, but uh, over here, you have to be clear that we are going to uh, approach double each question words. And over here in the chat, please, in the chat, which are the double H question words? Who can tell me? You, you can tell me, right? Uh, uh, somebody, okay, what is the first, uh, pretty good, pretty good, Christopher, when, where, when, where, who, which, pretty good, Kenya, Christopher, where, wow, this guy, this guys, I really what? know about the topic, how, pretty good, Jorge, how is another one, nice, Diana, what, who's, why, etc., so, we know about it now. Very good, Kenya. Who I? Who's? Okay. Okay, now let us stop now and let us see what's going on because you have to get concentrated in this part because you are going to see double H questions, uh, question words with going to. And let's see what's going on with this. Now, listen carefully. Listen carefully. Gonna go to a restaurant. Where are you gonna go? We're gonna go to Laguna's. We're not gonna stay home. How are you gonna get there? We're gonna drive. We're not gonna take a bus. Who's gonna be there? My friends are gonna be there. My sister isn't gonna be there. In order to form WH questions with 
v going to, we can follow this formula. wh word plus verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of these questions using this formula. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? The WH word is what? What? The word to be? Next week now it's stop right here. Uh, you know, uh, who can tell me about the, the form of the word to be in present? What are the three forms of the word to be in present? Is, um, are, uh, is, um, is, are. Is, are. Um. And we say, I, um, you, he, he, she, he, we, you, they. Well, that's very easy, right? So you have the verb be. And you know, after the double H question word, you have the verb be, the verb to be. Then you are going to get a subject over here. And then you are going to get the going to form in another verb in a complement. And look. To be R. Then we have the subject, you. After that, we add going to. Then we have the verb do. And finally, we put the complement and a question mark at the end for Valentine's Day. All right. Let uh, me choose one. Now, something that's uh, very important is that you have to uh, type or write down a question mark, right? Okay. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do for Valentine's yeah, Day? You. Now, listen, the next one. Eh, si yo digo, ¿a dónde vas a ir? ¿Cómo dicen eso en inglés? Mm, where, are, go. where are you going where to go? Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Okay, only one person. Let's see. Uh, only one person. Let us try with one person. Hector, Hector, uh, are you there? Hector. <laughs> Hello, Hector. Hector Alberto, are you there? Hector. You are there, Hector. Hector. Hello, Hector. Uh, so somebody raised hand. Let me see. Who raised hand? Let me see. Uh, it's, uh, let me see. Somebody. Okay, uh, pretty good. Kenya, Kenya, and after Kenya, Dania. Okay, where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? All right, where are you going to go? And listen, when we want a reduction, uh, Diana, can you please continue, please? Where are you going? Go. Where are you going to go? All right, and this is very, mm -hmm. very important, right? And, but listen, I want you to put into practice everything I teach you. Quiero que pongan en práctica todo lo que les estoy enseñando. ¿Cómo dicen de otra manera going to? Gonna. 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 Where are you going to go? Hey, where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Se fija eh, que, que cuando vay, vayamos aprendiendo esas cositas y lo ponemos en práctica, nuestro inglés va a sonar mucho que mejor. Y la gente ya va a saber, las personas que ya hablan inglés van a decir, ah, a él o a ella le enseñaron la forma de decir going to de manera natural. Okay. Where are you going to go? Hey, who wants to help me with the, with the next one? Con esta. ¿Quién me ayuda con esta? We're not going gonna to take a bus. Oh, it's the first one, please. 
Where? Ah. Uh, How where are you going to get there? Now, listen, that's fantastic, okay? Because the pronunciation is quite good. La pronunciación, la pronunciación está súper. Vamos, le voy, le voy a enseñar algo. Acá, get there? primero lo pueden pronunciar lentamente. How are you going to get there? And it's all right, no hay problema. Lo importante es que lo pronuncie bien. Pero poco a poco, digamos, a la segunda vez puede ser, how are you going, how are you going to get there? Un poquito más rápido, ¿verdad? Ya la tercera vez, how are you going to get there? Oh, ya está sonando un poquito más natural. Y ya cuando ustedes sean expertos, how are you going to get there? How are you going to get there? Ok, lo van a decir súper rápido y súper, eh, va a ser muy fluido su inglés. Entonces, cuando tengan su micrófono en silencio y estemos haciendo este tipo de ejercicio, traten de eh, practicarlo de esa manera. Si me escuchan a mí decir, how are you going to get there? Ok, háganlo así y, y luego traten de irlo mejorando. Ok, and the next one, please. Let me see, the next one. I have Alba. Alba, I haven't heard, I haven't uh, heard you. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> For example, uh, it's, it's there. Okay. Wolf, no, wolf going to be here. Uh, all right. So, Alba, listen to me. Alba. Alba. Uh, yes. Who's, who's going to be here? There. So there yeah who's going to be there who's going to be there pretty good now say it by uh but by, by using going to um gonna yeah gonna by using the pronunciation gonna who's gonna be here there, there? Okay, Alba, second time, second oppor uh, third opportunity. Say it once again. Yeah. Who's gonna be there? You see, it's, it's getting better. Could you say it a fourth time? Who's gonna be there? Fantastic. Oh. Hey, who's gonna be there? It's gonna be there. Okay. Yeah, th it's gonna be there. Uh, that's fantastic. Now, uh, let me see. We're gonna try to finish. How with, are with the you video. going to get there? Sorry. The WH word is how. Next, we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject you. After that, we need to add going to. Then we have the verb get. And finally, we put the complement and a question mark at the end there. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with be going to. I would like for you to make similar questions about the upcoming holidays in your country. <laughs> After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right. So you see, uh, the guy asked us to to create some question words. I mean, some some questions, double H questions. With going to, el, el, la persona nos pide que hagamos preguntas acerca de fechas especiales utilizando uh, double H question words. Ok, preguntas o preguntas con palabras de double H y este y utilizando going to. Eso por favor me lo dejan acá. Todos los que quieran aportar es bienvenido. Por acá pueden dejar su trabajo. Ok, ya luego yo reviso a ver quiénes son los que okay. están participando. Digan. Hello. No, teacher, está bien, digo oh. que está bien lo que está diciendo. Ah, ok, pretty good. Ok, so, y por favor, pues, eso, eso, eso nos sirve a nosotros para ver eh, muchas cosas. 
Cuando uno hace las tareas, eso quiere decir que uno está motivado, ¿verdad? Está motivado y quiere hacer las cosas bien y quiere practicar y que cada día queremos mejorar. Entonces, yo, me gustaría ver estos trabajos completos, ¿ok? En la medida de que sea posible. Sé que muchos de ustedes trabajan, tienen diferentes actividades, pero también es bueno hacer ese, ese tiempo. Uh, let me see. This is, we're almost done. Ya casi terminamos, solo vamos a ver la última parte. Ok. Y le va a quedar tarea lo, lo último. Ah, esto, esto, por favor, me lo completan. Y mañana lo, mañana lo voy a chequear. Ok, porque realmente, let me see. No, I think we still have some time. Uh, you know, there are some instructions over here. Vamos a tratar de resolverlo. Uh, complete the conversation with the correct form of going, be going to follow the example. And the example said, how are you going to spend your summer vacation? My parents and I are going to visit my grandparents. So conversation number one. What do you think is the answer over here? Who are you invite to I'm gonna, Thanksgiving? I'm going to invite. Oops, going to going to going to all right so if you say gonna it's all right uh, who are you gonna invite to thanksgiving dinner number number uh one let me see number one letter a right i'm as uh, my family and some good friends i'm going to ask give me one second because we are We are we are um forgetting about the verb. Now I'm I'm gonna I'm going to, going to, ask, going to ask my family and some good friends. My family and some good friends. Conversation two. What are you do for Halloween? What are you gonna do for Halloween? What are you gonna do for Halloween? going to do for Halloween? No. Uh, I don't know. I'm not not I'm no. going to do. No. Uh, fantastic. Going to do. Going. going to do. I'm not going to do. Remember, uh, if you want to say a sentence in any form, the only thing you have to do is to include the word not. Conversation number three. How are your parents Parents, I'm going to celebrate. To celebrate. Is going to celebrate. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Going to celebrate. How are you? To celebrate. New Year's Eve. Aha, uh -huh. they're gonna. They are gonna go. going to go to their neighbor. <laughs> To their neighbor's party. Conversation number four. What is your sister? Gonna do for her What is your sister going to do? Going to do. Going to do for her birthday. Her boyfriend. Gonna take her ah, out uh, to the out there. But over here, we I'm are forgetting fine. something about the verb to be over here. Her boyfriend. Mm. Going to take. Go ah, oh, somebody is say, going. right? Is, is going is. to take her out going to dinner. To take her out. Take. Oh, uh, okay, give me one. Take her uh, yes. for dinner, all right? That's fantastic, okay, let us try. Let us see what's going on. If we commit some mistakes, okay, let us see. We will see the answers. Okay, now I will ask some people to read, okay? I will ask some people to read once again, people who haven't participated in the class uh, today. Alma, could you please read the first one? Alma Ivet. Who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? 
Perfect. Very good. Cecil. Ah, no, no, let me see. Carlos Ernesto, the second one. Uh, this part. Second. Yeah, that's right. I'm. I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask my family and some good friends. Fantastic. Very good. Now, there we have. Cecil, now yes, Cecil, it's your turn. Is Cecil uh, are you going to do for Halloween? Oh, let me see. Oh, oh, okay. What are you gonna do for Halloween? Okay, Cecil, is Cecil in the class? Yes or no? Maybe she's not here. Oh, yeah. I will check it later. Christopher, Christopher, help me with this part, please. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to do anything special. This, this was my mistake, right? Anything special. Pretty good. And then we have the, uh, Diana Gabriela with the next one. How are your parents going to celebrate New York Eve? Eve, fantastic. Very good. Fatima, Elisa, help me with the next, please. It's number five. Yeah. It's number five. Okay. What is your sister going, going to do for her birthday? Fantastic. Very good. Hey. Uh, what is your sister gonna do for her birthday? Good. And the last one, let's see, Gloria Carolina. Yes. Could, can you please help us with the next exercise? B. Yeah. Okay. Her boyfriend is going to take her, her out to dinner. To dinner. All right. To dinner. Pretty good. You did it. You did it. Okay. Listen carefully. How, how was the class today? ¿Cómo estuvo la clase ahora? Sí. Hey, gracias, Julio. Nice. Justo, awesome justo iba. Awesome. Hey. Excellent. ¿Saben qué? Les agradezco tanto Excellent. que inclusive me están diciendo, ahí, teacher, la asistencia. ¿Saben que cuando yo les pido que participen en la clase, yo tengo mi listadito acá para que ustedes vean. Y ahí voy, ahí voy anotando la asistencia al mismo tiempo. Entonces, yo estoy reduciendo, estoy tratando de invertir nuestro tiempo de manera que sea más productivo. Entonces, aquí hay algunos que yo les he puesto en asistencia, algunos que ya no alcancé, eh, pedirles que, me, que, que participaran en la clase, pero estoy tratando de que todos participen. Entonces, quiero corroborar quiénes son los que están en clase y quiénes son los que no asistieron. Por ejemplo, yo pedí a Cecibel que me ayudara. ¿Está Cecibel acá? José Herrera quería decir algo. No, no, no. No. Ok, ok. Cecibel sí nos encuentra. Eh, Héctor Adalberto. Present teacher, present. Ex Excelente. Lo siento, Héctor, pero eh, si yo no lo llamo, digamos, a, a participar y ustedes quieren hacerlo, saben que son libres de participar en cualquier momento que ustedes decidan. Irving. Ok, teacher, thank you. All right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, okay, Irving, very good, you're there. But, este, José Enrique, el, no escuché si me respondió en el ejercicio. Present teacher, no, no. Uh, but, no, no eh, José Enrique, yo, yo le había puesto en asistencia, ahora lo corrijo. Ok, pero este, tratemos de estar participando siempre, por favor. José okay, Oscar. Teacher. Oh, you're welcome. Yes, I am here. Oh, okay, yes, okay, so over here. And Katie Tatiana Canales. No, Katie is not here. Si no los menciono, es porque yo ya tomé asistencia. Okay. Eh, Sandra Guadalupe. Hello, Sandra. I don't see Sandra here. Okay, Silvia Carolina. I'm here, teacher. Very good, Silvia. 
Susana Isabel. I'm here. Good. Wilson. Present teacher. All right, Wilson. And Jenny Carolina. Present teacher. And we have Edita. Hello, Edita. Se salió Edita, yo la vi que estuvo conectada. Sí, estuvo conectada. Sí, estuvo conectada, ok. Pero igual, acá ya le puse la asistencia. Hey, uh, jovencitos, señoritas, señores, señoras, ha sido un placer. Espero verlos mañana y sigan aprendiendo inglés. Que me van a hacer feliz si ustedes aprenden inglés súper rápido. Teacher, I need you help. Uh, tell me, Christopher. Teacher, uh, could you add me to the WhatsApp group, please? What's the pro what do you need, Christopher? Could you add me to the WhatsApp group? Ah, okay. Christopher Raul Peña. Yes. My phone number is 78 77 five seven five seven one four two four one four two four all right Teacher. I'll, I'll take you. all right hey. hello I Rebecca. need it too I uh, you need it okay Rebecca yeah Rebecca Michelle right yeah my phone number is 72 72 03 03 54 54 21 21 fantastic i'll do it all right thank you hey you're welcome hey thank you teacher good night i hope that you go to bed not early but i hope that you rest a lot see you tomorrow See you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.